to the audio book of New Social Studies, Grade 10. Unit 7, Lesson 12, page number 297. Consequences of the Second World War and Role of Nepal. Introduction. The Second World War was more disastrous than the First World War. It was fought in Europe, Asia and Africa. Besides the use of modern and sophisticated weapons of war, the most destructive atom bombs were dropped which killed thousands of innocent civilians. The world witnessed unprecedented loss of life and property. The Second World War began after Germany attacked on Poland on 1st September 1939 AD. At the beginning, Germany got victory one after another. The countries of Allies' power like France, Czechoslovakia, Poland, Denmark, Norway, Belgium, Netherlands, etc. were defeated by Germany by June 1940 AD. On the other hand, Japan conquered East Asia, Southeast Asia and reached up to India. The USA requested Japan to stop its expansion, but Japan denied it. So the USA stopped exporting iron to Japan. Then on 7th December 1941 AD, Japan attacked on Pearl Harbor, Hawaii Island of America. This is called Pearl Harbor event. After this, the USA joined in the Second World War from the side of Allies power. After the involvement of the USA in war, the Axis powers started to lose the war. Hitler committed suicide. Germany was divided into East Germany and West Germany but Japan alone continued the war with 14 nations. America dropped atom bomb in Hiroshima and Nagasaki on 6th and 9th August respectively. On the 12th September 1945 AD, Japan surrendered and the Second World War ended. The major consequences of the Second World War Number 1. Polarization and Cold War after the end of the Second World War, the USA and the USSR emerged as most powerful countries. Most of the European countries became weak in economy and military strength, but the USA made economic progress by exporting war materials to European countries. As the loss in military of the USA was comparatively less than others, it emerged as powerful country. On the other hand, the USSR had a huge military strength. Its political power spread in the world. But there was political and ideological difference between these two countries as the USA was a capitalist country and the USSR was a communist country. It resulted into the division of the world into two blocks. B -L -O -C -S. The communist countries of the East were under Soviet bloc whereas the capitalist country came under the U.S. bloc. This is called polarization. There started unhealthy competition between communist East and capitalist West. There was criticism, jealousy, tension and hatred between them, but war could not be declared due to the balance in power. Such hostile but non-violent relation between the former Soviet Union and the United States and their respective allies is called the Cold War. It remained from around 1946 to 1989 AD. 2. Great loss of life and property. The Second World War was an extremely destructive war in the human history. In this war, many modern weapons of mass destruction, WMD, like chemical weapon weapons and atom bombs were used which killed 20.2 million people whereas 30.4 million people were injured. Many developed cities, industries and factories were destroyed. Cultivable lands were converted into deserts. Millions of people became homeless and compelled to live a life of refugee. 3. Establishment of competitor organizations for economic reconstruction. Most of the countries of Europe were destroyed during the Second World War. The economy was paralyzed. At the same time, communism was spreading in Europe. To prevent the spread of communism, the USA and West European countries established NATO, NATO, 
North Atlantic Treaty Organization in 1949-80. It was an international organization established to promote mutual defenses and collective security. U.S. Secretary of State George Marshall prepared a plan to provide economic aid to the European countries. This is called Marshall Plan. On the other hand, the Soviet Union and East European countries established an organization called Warsaw Pact Organization in 1955-80, with the objective to provide economic assistance to its member countries, an organization was established in the leadership of Molotov, M-O-L-O-T-O-V, the foreign minister of Russia. This organization was called Council for Mutual Economic Aid. C-O-M-E-C-O-N, Comic-Con. This was also called Molotov Plan. 4. End of colonial, colonialism and wave of national movements. Due to involvement in the Second World War, the imperialist countries of Europe became weak. They could not have control over their colonies. The national movements again colon colonialism spread over Afro-Asian countries, India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Malaysia, Egypt, etc. were emancipated from yoke of British colonialism. French colonies like Vietnam, Cambodia and Laos also became independent. Similarly, Indonesia got freedom from the colonial rule of Netherlands. Gradually, the wave of independence swept over the world. 5. Establishment of United Nations Organization The United Nations Organization was the most important result of the Second World War. To protect the mankind from the suffering of wars, the world leaders of that time made lots of efforts to stop the war. The leaders of Allies Power held a meeting at London and issued a declaration on 12th June 1941 AD. It is called London Declaration. This declaration appealed for the end of the war and international cooperation and peace. On 14th August 1941 AD, US President Franklin Delano Roosevelt and British Prime Minister Winston Churchill prepared a joint declaration in a battleship in Atlantic Ocean for the world peace. Um, it is called Atlantic Charter. Likewise, San Francisco Conference held from 25th April to 26th June 1945 AD finalized the concept of the United Nations Organization. After signing by 51 nations on the charter, United Nations Organization was established formally on 24th October 1945 AD. The major objectives of the establishment of UNO, UNO were um, to maintain international peace and security, to develop friendly relations among nations, to achieve international cooperation in solving various problems, and to promote and respect for human rights, dignity, and freedom. Non-aligned movement and third world After the end of the Second World War, the Cold War started between the major power blocs. Some neutral countries that were not formally aligned with or against any major power bloc form an organization called Non-Aligned Movement. It was founded by Belgrade B -E -L -G -R -A -D -E, in 1961-80. The founding fathers of the Non-Aligned Movement were Jawaharlal Nehru of India, Sukarno of Indonesia, Joseph Broz Tito of Yugoslavia, um, spelling J-O-S-I-P-B-R-O-Z-T-I-T-O, -O Joseph Broz Tito. Gamal Abdul Nasser of Egypt and Kwame um, Nkrumah, spelling K-W-A-M-E-N-K-R-U-M-A-H of Ghana. Their Actions were known as the Initiative of Five. They advocated a middle course for the states in the developing world between the Western and Eastern blocs in the Cold War. 
as of 2012 AD, there are 120 member states in this movement. During the Cold War, the countries that remained non-aligned with either NATO or the Communist bloc were defined as Third World. The United States, Western European nations and their allies represented the First World, while the Soviet Union, China, Cuba and their allies represented the Second World. Role of Nepal in the Second World War During the Second World War, Jutta Samse was the Prime Minister of Nepal. He declared an increase of 1,000 soldiers in each regiment in the British force. Besides this, he sent 8,000 troops in India under the command of Bahadur Samsher. During the time of war, about 1 lakh Nepalese were recruited by British in India. Altogether, 250,000 Nepalese soldiers participated in this war on behalf of British government. Among them, 7,544 were killed and disappeared, and 23,655 were injured and many of them became disabled. The Nepalese troops fought bravely and earned the rep reputation of brave Gorkhali. They fought in Myanmar, Egypt, Sudan, Ethiopia, Italy, Syria, Iran, Iraq, Singapore, and Malaysia, and so on. Some of the Nepalese were awarded the Supreme Medal of Britain, Victoria Cross, and Military Cross. Judda Samser was awarded the full honorary general of British Army for the Nepalese help to British in this war. The British government paid 33.3 million rupees to Nepal as a mark of gratitude and also promised for the payment of 1 million rupees every year to Nepal. Those soldiers who participated in this war got the opportunity to see the development in the world and helped to end the Rana rule in Nepal. Victoria Cross winner Nepalese Victoria Cross or VC is the highest military award of UK. It is awarded for gallantry, G-A-L-L-A-N-T-R-Y, in the face of the enemy to members of the British Armed Force. It was introduced on 29th January 1856 AD by Queen Victoria. Nepali, Nepali, Nepali Gurkhas have won 13 Victoria Crosses, including countless other military awards. The following are the Gurkha VC holders whose bravery, gallantry, and loyalty have established Gurkhas as the most formidable soldiers. 1. Rifleman Kulbir Thapa Place France, date 25th 26th September 1915 AD. Subedar Lal Bahadur Thapa, Tunisia, 5th 6th April 1943 AD. Havildar Ghazi Ghale, Burma, 27th May 1943 AD. Rifleman Tul Bahadur Pun, Burma, 23rd June 1944 AD. Naik Agam Singh Rai, Burma, 26th June 1944 AD. Rifleman Gonzu Lama, Burma, 12th June 1944 AD. Rifleman Thaman Gurung, Italy, 10th November 1944 AD. Rifleman Dhanubhakta, Dhanubhakta Gurung, Burma, 5th March 1945 AD. Rifleman Lachiman Gurung, Burma, 12th, 13th May 1945 AD. Lance Corporal Ram Bahadur Limbu, Borneo, B O R N E O, 21st November 1965 AD. Rifleman Karan Bahadur Rana, Palestine, 10th April 1918 AD. Subedar Netra Bahadur Thapa, Burma, 25th, 26th June, 1944 AD. Rifleman Sher Bahadur Thapa, Italy, 18th or 19th September, 1944 AD. Activity, page number 301. Number 1. Identify the main places of incidents and the countries involved in the Second World War. Number 2. 
there was a tight relationship between British imperialism and Rana rulers of, ru ru rulers of Nepal. Pardon me. It is said that if there was no Rana rule in Nepal, there would not be the involvement of Nepalese in the world wars. What is your opinion on it? Analyze it. Exercise. Very short answer questions. Number one, what was the Cold War? Two, what was Atlantic Charter? Three, why did Hitler commit suicide? Present your logics. Four, why did the Pearl Harbor event become destructive for Japan? Short answer questions. One, discussion and understanding is more beneficial than war. Why? Justify on the background of the Second World War. Two. After the Second World War, an organization of neutral countries was formed. Name that organization and write short description of it. 3. Despite the signing of Nazi-Soviet non-aggression pact, Russia and Germany involved in war against each other in the Second World War. Which country do you think was guilty? Present your opinion. Number 4. The destruction of two Jap Japanese cities, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, was mainly caused by the development of atomic weapons rather than the war. Present your logic in favor or against this statement. 5. When was the UN established? What are its objectives? Long answer questions. 1. List the consequences of the Second World War and describe any five of them. 2. Compare the First World War and the Second World War in terms of causes and consequences of the wars. Number three, no power or nation remains permanent enemy or friends in politics. Prove this saying by stating the events and description of First and Second World War. Community work. If we see the world history, we can find the examples of plans made for peace and reconstructions after each revolution. Nepal also faced various revolutions in different periods of time. In this context, consult with a senior citizen of your community and ask what reconstruction plans were made and to what extent they were implemented. Prepare a report based on your discussion. This is the end of Unit 7, Lesson 12. podcast is dedicated to visually impaired students so if you know anybody who needs this book um, to listen and learn please share the link and also please subscribe the channel thank you and all the best